Hey y'all, Coltis and Travels here, and as you can see, I'm here at Universal Hollywood City Walk. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a vlog because I did plenty of vlogging this trip, but since I'm here, you know, why not? All right, so we kind of starting here, like in the center part. It's very nice, very, very nice. We have a crepe cafe right here to the right, and to the left, you have a, a hot topic. Like Pokemon stuff here at this um, vendor. To the right here you have a Vivo Italian kitchen. Ooh, a Ben and Jerry's ice cream store to the left here. And we have a huge Sephora store right here to the right. Let's go in here, Super Nintendo World store. Since I'm gonna be going into the park actually, so um, let's go inside the store. Ooh, look at the plushies. It almost makes me wish to go into the, um, the park. Lots of Super Nintendo World merch. Cool. Ooh, look at this power up bands. I remember seeing a video about these um, watches that like you can use them within the Super Nintendo world. That's pretty cool. Headbands. Are these pins? Ooh, cool. Super Nintendo world pins. Cool. And then more Bowser merch. See how much charge for these shirts? 40 bucks, it'll stay right there. Ooh, tumblers. Nice. Ooh, what is this? The block? A block pillow? But oh, that's dope. That's something I can probably use on my flight back. Mario Kart stuff. Ooh, what's this? A jigsaw puzzle? Oh, that's dope. Okay. Pretty cool. Looks like, what, beach towels, maybe? Or pants? I'm not sure. They look pretty cool. Road signs. I'm guessing that's alluding to, like, Mario Kart. Oh, man, I can stay in this store for a long time, man. There's a lot of cool stuff. You know, I'm a gamer, and I've grown up with Mario. All the way back to the regular Nintendo. Hey, what's going on? That's me. So, yeah. <sighs> this is my childhood I'm looking at right here. The chompers, the ghosts. I like the tumblers here, too. Very nice. I like the neon design. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Ooh, Toad. Toad merch. Toad, Yoshi, and... I forgot what you call these, chompers? I think they're chompers. Wow. Oh man, see this Bowser here? This is the Bowser that I grew up with. I remember when I was five years old, I made it to World 1-4 for the first time, and when I saw him, I ran out of my room because I was scared. He looked scary back there, man. Cute little backpack here. Goombas, piranha plants. More Luigi, Mario, and other merch that we've seen already. Oh yeah, lots of cool stuff. All right, so we basically, oh, wait a minute. We got mugs. Oh man, Yoshi, Mario, and Luigi mugs. Yoshi hats. Yoshi Cups. Ooh, Princess Toadstool. I'm calling her Toadstool because that's how I know her. I don't know, I don't know who I don't know who Princess Peach is. She's Princess Toadstool. What is this? Gloves? Wow, and I'm pretty sure you can wear these to the park. Um, ooh, look at this. Player two mugs. Wait, I think I saw a player one mug. Let me see me go around. Oh no. It was just it was just for the Luigi mug, but that's cool. Hey. Super Nintendo World mugs. That's pretty cool. Makes me wish I was going into the park. 
Pretty cool store, pretty cool store. All right, continuing the tour, we have a mini monster, or I think that's a, it's like a coffee shop or something, I'm not sure. And then we have the Los Angeles Sock Market. Sock Market. So I guess if you're the type that likes socks, they have a large variety of, you know, socks for you to buy. All right, to the left here, they got like a Nectar, Nectar Bath Treats here. I guess it's for like bath stuff or whatever, I'm not sure. Oh, wait a minute, no. Oh yeah, it is a bath store. Like bath bombs and stuff like that. Actually, let's take a look at some of the stuff they have. For a second, I thought this was a bakery. I mean, it looks like food, but very cute, very cute. <laughs> and there's a Sparky's. What is part? Oh, is this the candy store? <gasps> this is a candy store. Okay, we're walking inside the candy store. Oh, wow. So looking at this here, oh my goodness. Fudge, candy apples. Oh my gosh. What is this, chocolate truffles? What is that, Ch frozen banana? Lots of chocolate-based dessert, chocolate pretzels, blueberry clusters? Oh my God. I need to get out this door before I buy something here. No chocolate. Oh yeah, this is a very awesome store here. All right, let's get out of here before I actually buy something. <laughs> you know, I'm not supposed to eat all that sweet stuff. Yeah, this is like the real big area right here. Jamba Juice to the right. What is this? What is this, like a restaurant? Bienvenidos. Cerveza. I guess it's some type of like Mexican style bar. I'm not sure what it is. Of course, you have your Johnny Rockets to your right here. You have the NBC Sports Grill here. Of course, your bump, ugh, Bubba Gump Shrimp. I need to find out where the movie theater is because that's where I'm trying to go to watch the, um, the Demon Slayer movie. Hopefully, I'm not too late to watch it. What is this? Oh, that's pretty cool. like an interactive fountain and stuff like that. Okay, cinemas is this way. So hopefully I'm not too late. I'm probably, I am probably am too late, but whatever. The Bubble Gump Shrimp Company to the right here. And then you have King Kong or whatever. King Kong wannabe up here. And to the left we have It's Sugar. I'm not sure if that's a clothing store or a candy store. They got an Amber Combi kit to the left. And over here to the right, they have a, like a wasabi sushi tempura restaurant, if you're into that stuff. And to the left, you have your Starbucks. You can't be a city walk without a Starbucks. All right, to the right is a Chinese place, Dong Po Kitchen, the taste of China. I tell you this, man, having, you know, having lockers right there really makes it easier to explore the park without having a heavy ass backpack on me. So I appreciate Universal for having lockers right in City Walk. Ooh, Toothsum Chocolate Emporium. That look like a place I should stay clear away from. We have Universal Cinema. Oh, here's the sto here's the um the movie place. Let's just check the times because I was supposed to watch the Demon Slayer. What is it, the Hashira Training Arc is playing here, at least last time I checked. So I just wanna check the time right quick. Okay, it looks like the tour is gonna to be put on hold. I just got into the theater. I'm gonna watch Demon Slayer. It's gonna be an awesome day. All right, I just got out of the Demon Slayer Hashira training art movie. I thought it was gonna show more, but it was, it was all good. All right, back to City Walk. Um, up there is the food court, Firehouse Subs, Panda Express, Habit Burger and Grill, Taco Bell, KFC. You know, all the good stuff upstairs. Downstairs you have Celebrity Authentics, Autograph Collectibles. Ooh, that actually sounds interesting. Over here is Locker Rooms by Lids. I think that's like a sports store. Over here to the right, we have the famous Voodoo Donuts. They actually have this over at um, Universal, I mean, City Walk in Universal Orlando. That right there is like their signature donut. Next to Voodoo Donuts, we have the Minty's Frozen Yogurt. I've had, I think I've had this before, back in Miami. 
Greetings from City Walk. Thank you. All right, right here we have the Production Central. It's like a, I guess a movie store. Oh, it's the Raider store right here. And they got like a nice cool helmet door. That's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna make our way back around. Here is the entrance to Margaritaville. To the left here is Pretzels Pretzels. I actually had this at the Union Station and I'm in, in LA. I had their lemonade, it was pretty good. Who was this? Fly Hollywood, I fly. Oh, so it's kind of like a, like a skydiving experience. That's pretty cool. It's called I fly. I think I'm gonna go to that food court on the second floor. I am starving. Watching that movie kind of got me hungry. So they have a KFC, Pizza Hut, the Pinks, Taco Bell, Uncle Shark's po Poke Bar, Habit Bar, uh, the Habit Burger Grill, Panda Express, and then Firehouse Subs. So I have a bunch of options. All right, we're heading back this way because I think there were some stores I missed. So we're gonna check out those stores and then the video will be over because I gotta get, back. I gotta head to the airport. As a matter of fact, let's go into this sugar store because I thought it was a clothing store at first, but this is a straight up candy store. They got working stuff, but this is a straight up candy store. Oh my God. All made with jelly beans, I think. That is insane. I'm gonna do a pan of the entire store because if I walk through here, I am going to buy something. Nothing but candy. Wow. So the that Mexican place is called Entojitos. I don't know why I didn't see this sign before, but there you go. I don't think I did the stores on the far end, so we're gonna go over there. So on the left here, we have the Dodgers Clubhouse. Lots of Dodger apparel, I'm guessing, in there. All right, on the right-hand side is a sunglass store called Sensations. You can get your glasses and stuff here. Over here is a Tilly's. I'm guessing that's an athletic store, uh, another athletic store. Um, to the right here is a store called Francesca's. On the left hand side here is a store called Karma and Luck. Here is the chick, the chick check, chicken, <laughs> chick check, say that um, um, fast 10 times. Universal Universes, I guess that's what it's called. You know, another apparel store. They got a whole bunch of apparel stores here, so we have lots of options to shop for. Popcornopolis, or Popcornopolis, Popcornopolis. Let's look at what they have here. Let's look at the window. So they got a whole bunch of them, like different types of candy apples. Is that Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles and chocolate covered nuts and so many different types. Another store I need to avoid. <laughs> right? Universal Studios store, more Universal stuff. And then at the end here, we have a Billabong store. I guess it's like um, beach, beach apparel, stuff like that. This is still a part of the Universal store at the end here. And that's pretty much it. That is all of City Walk. But we're gonna get a quick look at the entrance over there. And then the Universal Globe, the famous Universal Globe. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for Universal City Walk. Um, I guess it's a decent size. And it's a great time killer if you have nothing else to do. It's a great way to, um, you know, do some extra shopping once Universal closes because City Walk um, stays open later than the actual park. So you can, you know, do some extra shopping, catch a movie, eat something, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna end this video here because I gotta get back on the flight back to Tampa and that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this little tour that I gave of City Walk, you know, just give me a like, just give me a comment, subscribe to my channel, you know, support cultures and travels so I can do more videos like this. And I'll see you at the next one. Take care.